this is Raging Amish, and welcome to my review of the AUG. Uh, no, the AUG. Do you suppose you meant the come on? No, the AUG. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Like most assault rifles, the AUG is fully automatic. But it comes with a unique feature. This is one of only two assault rifles with a fire rate of 937.5 RPM. This is the highest default fire rate in the game. And trust me when I say this, the AUG takes full advantage of it. Everything about this gun oozes awesomeness. Up front, the mag size comes in at 30 rounds, meaning extended mags isn't a mandate, but rather a luxury. The gun's damage is no slouch either. The rounds do 35 to 25 damage, meaning the AUG is a 3 to 4 hit kill. At first glance, 35 to 25 damage looks weak compared to most assault rifles, but I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The difference between 40 to the third damage and 35 to 25 damage is laughable. <laughs> Sadly, the rest of the stats are pretty run of the mill. The gun is still good stat-wise, it just has a lot of the same features as other guns in the class. The assault rifles are kinda like Call of Duty commentators. You'll definitely see some innovation here and there, but it's mostly the same bland stuff over and over again. You have a damage profile which is identical to six other assault rifles, medium penetration power, assault rifle crosshairs, a race time of .75 seconds, a drop time of 0.65 seconds, and an aim down sight time of 0.25 seconds. Nothing really stands out here, hence why I'm not really going to go into detail on any of the aforementioned stats. My god, he's right. The reload times are kind of the same story of redundancy, but not really. The high fire rate does make things a bit more interesting. The magazine reloads in 2.65 seconds by default, or 3.05 seconds if it is empty. In each case, the magazine enters the gun at the 1.9 second mark. These reload times are typical for an assault rifle, but since the AUG depletes its mag so quickly, you'll have to reload frequently. This doesn't make slate of hand mandatory, but does mean you should consider including a way to compensate for this weakness. Oh god damn it, don't you lecture me, you son of a bitch! Don't worry though, while the reload times may leave you frustrated, the recoil is more than easy to manage. The AUG's recoil profile looks as such, 60, 60, 60, and 30. Say hello to a sexy recoil profile. The net direction of the recoil is up, which makes managing the kick so much easier. Just push slightly on the analog stick and bam, you're on target. After the recoil profile, you have the center speed, and on the AUG, this comes in at 1500. That's not awful, but isn't exceptional either. The gun does bounce around a bit, but to be honest, I think the symmetry of the recoil makes this easy to manage. A lot of people will come back and say, Oh, but the irons are crap! Well, let me tell you something, Peckerface! Same story goes for the irons. I think they're easy to use, but your opinion is really what's going to matter here. I couldn't think of a decent segue, so I'm just going to jump to the next subject. Up next is the attachments. Extended mags. I stand by what I said earlier. Extended mags is a luxury, not a mandate. Still, if you're not going to use slate of hand, strongly consider this attachment. Extended mags reduces the number of times you have to reload, which really is a big asset. Dual mags. Oh my god! With that clip, I'll let you guess which attachment I like. Extended mags is another solid option. Dual mags give you two extra starting mags, and every other reload is a bit quicker. Say goodbye to Scavenger and slate a hand. You don't need them, and to be frank, dual mags gives you a lot of flexibility in your class setup. ACOG site. I really want to like this attachment. I do. This is one of the cleanest sites I have ever seen. This attachment really makes me want to use the ACOG site to place accurate long range shots. But I just can't do it. Oh, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> the center speed is lowered to 1300, and I hate the extra amount of kick you have to put up with. I will say this, at least try it out. Red dot sight, reflex sight. I'll be the first one to admit that I tend to overvalue these sights. 
All these do is change the look of the irons. But in the AUG, I truly love these attachments. The sights open up the human factor of placing your first shot more effectively. And on the AUG, this is a great fit. Once you get that first shot, the follow-up shots will be quick to finish the job. Suppressor. The AUG is one of those weapons where the suppressor is a natural fit. The irons are clean, so you don't need a sight, and the rate of fire is high, meaning you can take the hit of reduced range for your weapon. This is one of those attachments you have to try. Infrared scope. Uh, <laughs> no. Underslug attachments. I'm just lumping these together now because I'm tired of basically saying, eh, don't use it three times. Hit firing the AUG is more effective than the Master Key or the Flamethrower, and the Marshmallow Launcher, oh, no, wait, I'm sorry, the Grenade Launcher is nothing special. In the grand scheme, I think choosing your attachment comes down to a sight or one of the magazine attachments. Either is a great fit, as they emphasize the gun's strength. My segue management at the moment sucks, so let's take a look at the perks. Good job, dickhead! You lost the entire audience! For the blue perk, the only thing that stood out is Scavenger. I don't think it's mandatory, but if you have ammo issues, this perk becomes a really attractive option. Other than that, it's really down to you and your playstyle. For the red perk, I say stick to Slate of Hand. As I've touched on before, the rate of fire is high, meaning you'll empty your mag quickly. It's not mandatory though. If you use something like extended mags or dual mags, you can explore other perks. For instance, Hardened is a great fit because of the pro version. The Lessons Flinch helps you place more shots. Steady Aim also fits. With such a high rate of fire, you can easily take advantage of the great hip fire. For the green perk, I really don't have a preference. It depends so much more on your other perks, and really, you as a player. I'm even okay with you selecting Second Chance, so long as you turn in your man card when you do so. Overall, the AUG is amazing. I love the gun. The problem is, not everyone feels this way. That's right! Now, can anybody remember what we're pissed off about? I'm sure some of you have been waiting for me to address something. How do I like the AUG but hate the FAMAS? The answer is, I have no fucking idea. For those of you who don't know, the AUG and FAMAS are borderline clones of one another. Yet for some reason, the AUG has somehow managed to stay immune to what I can best describe as Call of Duty hate. So many people rag on the AK-74 and the FAMAS, myself included, but almost never the AUG. Why? The AUG isn't even normally mentioned in the same sentence. Forum trolls always go after the FAMAS, but never the AUG. I rarely see anyone hate the AUG, but always hear people make fun of FAMAS users. You're all a bunch of goddamn pussy! Treyarch even released a stat sheet showing that the FAMAS and AK-74 are the top two used weapons in the game. So logically, you'd think since the AUG is so similar to both of them, it would be number three. But it's not. How is that possible? I don't know. I don't care. I like the AUG more than the FAMAS because of the symmetric recoil. And I will argue this point to the grave. Those are my two cents. Somehow, the AUG is not the target of hate, and I wouldn't have it any other way. That almost concludes my review of the AUG, but we're not done yet. The AUG is in zombies, and is worth a look. So let's go! The AUG is one of many fun guns you will find in Zombies. The assault rifles are pretty stereotypical as far as Zombies is concerned. I'm getting sick of your stereotypes. You get a big ammo loadout, the rounds are relatively strong, and to be honest, the AUG is really useful. It starts to get weak around the mid-teen rounds, but aside from that, the weapon really is worth taking from the box. It'll either kill a lot of Zombies or make you a lot of money. If you put the weapon in the Pack-a-Punch, you get the AUG 50 M3. You get a lot of standard upgrades including stronger bullets and more ammo, but what I like is the Master Key. It's basically a free stakeout. This is one of those weapons where you definitely want to pack a punch it if you can. That concludes my review of the AUG, thanks for watching. I hope you'll join me next time where I'll be celebrating my 100th video and doing something a bit different. So I'm not telling you what I'm doing. Oh, damn it! I'll see you there.